everyone, I'm Deb from Deb Web Art and today we're going to play with Pantone markers from uh, Royal Talons. Now I was um, sent these which was really exciting for me and, um, and then I had to do some experimenting. Now I, the way I use markers is not necessarily a, in a graphic way. I always try and see if I can do a bit of spreading of them with a bit of water. With these ones, is perfect. So um, I, that is exactly what I did. Now, I thought I would do this little magpie. And you know when you look at anything that is black, there's always these underlying colours, isn't there? So that's why I started with blue. Because there's like this, I mean, you could also put, possibly put a little bit of purple in there. Uh, but whenever you look at, at a bird or an animal that has got black in it, always look to see if you can see some undertones. Because black is comprised up of lots of different colors. So um, that's why I started with the blue. Uh, but in, in hindsight, I could have actually done a bit of blue and a bit of purple. Okay, so... You know, I might do that another time. Now, these Pantone markers are incredibly um, pigmented and they're also really quite lush, okay? They also come with a beautiful um, refill, which looks like ink. It just looks like a bottle of ink, which it is, obviously. But you can refill them, which is really handy because, obviously, with a lot of markers, you can't. So... With these ones, you can refill. So the one, the next thing that I'm going to do, I think, um, in playing around with these and experimenting, is I'm going to create using just the refills. Uh, when I did a little play you know, on some paper the other day, I found that they were incredibly um, pigmented, obviously, and so they worked quite differently from the acrylic inks that I've worked with in the past. So, you know, there'll be another little play, and uh, that would be fun. Now, one of the things when doing these little creations, is to, especially when activated by water, is to obviously be aware that um, even though this video flows, I had to pause it every now and again to dry the image, because obviously it's going to bleed into the into the other right which you'll notice so so here I am doing the background and you'll notice in a little while I then go in to do the bird and I did not dry the background first which means that there I am dabbing furiously um, to just you know try and <laughs> make it not blend because that's the one thing with any markers is once they once they have settled into a position then the um that they stay there. So you've kind of got to catch things as they go. There I am. <laughs> uh, you've got to catch it as it goes um, and make sure that you're happy with where it's sitting and what it's doing because this kind of ink will dry and be, that's it, it's dry. You, you can't reactivate it, even though I'm using water. So the paper that you can use for this is uh, mostly just watercolor paper. Um, because of the nature of markers, you can use different types of paper as well. Just depends on how you're using it. For me, when because I'm adding water, it makes sense to use watercolor paper. But um, Royal Talons themselves have an actual um, marker pad as well. They have blending card, uh, which works a bit differently with that. So yeah, here I am using um, Amsterdam paint um, pens just to add a little bit of color in my own way <laughs> and um, yeah a few dots and dashes here and there which just gives the brings my little magpie a little bit of interest um, and a few highlights as well so that's always pretty fun don't forget the dots in the eyes because that's what sort of just lifts the little ones and makes them look a little bit more special and then I thought I would just take an outliner and, you know, go around the edges to also once again give it a little bit of, a little bit of movement, you know, that's what often happens when you outline. Stay tuned for a closer look at these markers. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching that. Um, so I use those Pantone markers in, um, in a watercolour sort of way which you obviously can do, and you just make sure you've got watercolor paper. 
But the Pantone markers are unusual because they're not a watercolour marker, they're not an alcohol marker, they've got a different binder in them, which allows them to be movable up to a point and then they become a permanent. So it's, it's a really interesting um, material to use. So the Pantone markers come in such a way that you can then put, some, put together a few of the colour sets and create them into uh, something that's blendable. So like for instance these three blues, they can be blendable together. Um, and the good part about them is that they have the brush tip on the one side and then they have a chisel on the other side. And this side is great because if you're wanting to refill it, if you've run out of um, your ink or it's getting low, you can uh, pull this out gently and then you can get the correct ink that matches it and pop it in there. The other thing that's great is because you can buy the ink uh, as it is, like this, you can also use it quite easily in your mixed media projects because it's really lovely and pigmented like the pens, obviously. So the one thing that I do when I am doing markers like this, so the Pantone range has about 108 markers in it, and uh, when I've got when I've got some of them, because I do like a swatch, but I do a swatch that shows me what colors I can put together to blend nicely. Okay, and then I can also sort of get a good idea when I'm creating what I, um, how it works, all right, and what, what colors to use, etc. So a swatch is always a really great idea when you um, start collecting certain markers, etc. It's a very good idea. The other thing that it's a good idea for is to obviously take your piece of paper or whatever you're using with your swatches on so you know that you're not going to double up on whatever you are um, purchasing. So that's always a good idea. So with the Pantones, they, um, I, I really like them and I'm going to keep doing some more. I'm going to have a go at some graphic designs as well and see how I go with that. So it's going to be fun. I'll uh, bring you along on the journey and we'll see what we can do. Okay, I hope you had fun. Take care. See you again next time.